Okay, so let's start the first impression part of this video. Um, so this is the foundation right here. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation thing, and it looks like that. I have the color 200 Soft, soft Beige, and I believe this is the one that matches me the most. Because um, I have a weird skin tone, and yeah, this is the yellowest, darkest, maybe. I, I, this, I think this is the one that's going to be match me better. Okay, so um, this was, I believe, five around 5 $6 dollars. Um, over here because we have a ton of taxes, so um, it's a little bit pricier over here. So um, I have only like a moisturizer and oil control moisturizer, and I'm like oily. Um, I have that. I have some eye gel, and yeah, that's it. I'm not going to be wearing um, primer for this because I want to test it out. Um, but I really want the like. I just want it for the matte the matte part like the shine control part of this foundation i am going to be setting with setting it with powder because i need powder because i'm super extremely oily so um yes and i'm going to be applying it with a beauty blender because i've seen videos and they say that a beauty sponge thing is better for this type of foundation because it's like a mousse and it's really weird so yes i'm going to be using this and as you can see I have some like redness going around here and yeah I just want this to work and it's super hot today um let me see if I can find the temperature right quickly so it's 77 degrees and the highest will be 88 today that's not a lot but you can still feel the heat so let's get on with this foundation let me see if I can get closer to you and um, I'm going to be looking over there because there's my mirror and I just don't want to hold up a mirror like right in front of your face. So I'm going to be looking over there because that's my big mirror. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so I am going to be applying, um, it looks like a lot, I'm going to be applying some on the back of my hand to see what it's like. And I'm very bad at um, applying makeup on camera because I take too long so this is what it looks like it's super super um thick it's of course like a mousse so i'm just going to dab some on my face i don't know how much or how less i need so i'm just going to go i'm just gonna wing it okay because why not um it feels it says lightweight but it i don't know it you can it, you can feel it on your face so i'm going to use the beauty sponge now and I am just dabbing it it's a very um, light coverage and I say that while tapping on my mouth and it's really um, not um, what was I gonna say like not flattering okay so maybe I need two coats. I don't know. I always apply a ton on my cheeks. And I don't need that much coverage on my cheeks. I need it on my whole face. Except my cheeks. Okay, I can't talk and apply this at the same time. I'm so sorry. Okay, so it feels... I don't know if it, it's, um, if it's set like this. You'll have to wait. The color, it... I heard somebody... The color, it matches, like, it's very white. It's white on me because I'm tan. I, t I had a ton of sun. And, um, but yeah, it's a very nice color. Um, the coverage, I'd say it's a medium coverage. Okay, so I was going to say that this sponge, um, this one right here, is not a beauty blender. But it's awesome because it just does not stain. When I wash it, it just, it goes away. So I'm just going to apply some more. I still have a ton on the back of my hand. I'm going to apply some more where I think I need it. And that's a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the coverage so far. And it does look pretty matte. But as I said, I am going to set it because I hate shininess. And I'm the oiliest person I've ever met. Like, you can fry some... 
what was I gonna say? You can fry something on my face. Ugh. Anything and everything that you can fry, you can fry on my face. You can even deep fry on my face. So yeah, that's how much oil. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up now and continue. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'm super impressed. I still have a lot on the back of my hand. I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, I am super impressed with like the coverage. Um, I don't know if it's set yet, but it feels a tad tacky. So I'm going to take a picture now with flash, like so you can see the shininess without powder. And then I'm going to apply powder and take a picture. And you, can, you can see. And then I'm going to set my makeup. I mean, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll come right back. So I'm just going to take the photo now. So you can see the photo with this without powder. Without powder, the picture looks great. It doesn't, I don't look shiny. I just look like glowy, but it's not shiny at all. Um, and um, yeah, the color seems like good. Um, like not perfect, of course, because I'm not going to get the perfect shade. With powder, I feel like I look whiter for some reason. Uh, maybe it's the shade of the powder. I don't know. But it does definitely look matte -er with the powder. And I just love that completely matte finish. Um, it does... It doesn't feel sticky. It feels like set. Um, it does feel set. But I don't know. It feels weird. Um, it's not lightweight. Like, I can feel I have makeup and it's like heavy so I don't I really don't think that this is a lightweight lightweight foundation so yeah I'm just going to finish my makeup and just tell you what I think about it okay so I finished my makeup right here and um so yeah t um, right now it's 223 um and I'm going to be wearing this like throughout the day um, well not throughout today, like, I'm, I don't know, because I have somewhere to be at night, so I have to shower and do everything again. So yeah, this is the makeup, um, I set it with some makeup setting spray, so I don't know if that's going to affect the final pro, the final, like, um, outcome of this foundation. So yeah, um, about the foundation, because it's a foundation thing, um, I'm going to do, like, a, like, a, um, zoom, not zoom, just bigger. I'm just going to zoom in on my face. And, um, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's definitely set. It's not sticky. Um, I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm going to get greasy, but I am not greasy. I'm just sh shiny. I'm not, sh it's, I don't know. I'm healthy. Okay, I look healthy. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to film another video, so yeah, you're going to see that video first before this one. So I'm going to link this video on the other video and vice versa so you can see both of the videos that I'm going to be filming today. And yeah, um, so just I'll keep you tuned with everything that goes on with this beautiful and weird foundation. And super, super, um, it does feel like I have something, but it's not thick, it's not heavy. Um, I just feel like I have foundation on, which does not, um, help the fact that it's supposed to be light weight. So yeah, um, I'm going to go on with my day. <laughs> okay guys, so it is 5.06 right now, and, um, as you can see, it has been a couple of hours since I, like, last talked to you, and... Um, I am looking oily, but I have yet to find a foundation that keeps me matte. But I was hoping for this to work, but it did work. It looks, it still looks very flawless. It still looks very clean, very pretty. Um, like my forehead is not oily, which I was hoping, which uh, my forehead is mainly oily. But my chin and my nose area is definitely oily, which is just not new for me. But, um, like, my cheeks are not oily, and that's, that's something. Like, where, in the areas that I am not super oily, I'm matte. But in the areas that I am super extremely oily, I am 
oily, and it's nothing a little blotting can can't fix. I still give this foundation a five out of ten because the color is pretty good. The coverage is amazing. It feels now it feels it feels nice. It feels nice on the skin. It's really pretty. It's a flawless, it's not flawless, but it's really pretty on my skin. And I like it. And of course, the price is just amazing. So yeah, that was the review um, and my first impression on the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Liquid Mousse Foundation. It's not liquid, it's just mousse, like plain mousse foundation. But um, I do like it. I will, be con I will continue using it because of course, why would I not? Um, but yeah, I don't feel any breakouts coming out, so that's a plus, um, because with my Maybelline Fit Me, I did feel like, like, around three or four hours after I did start feeling like I was going to break out, so that is not good, but I don't feel any breakouts going on right now, I have to knock on wood, because maybe I am going to break out, I don't know, but yeah, that was the wear test, it's not a complete wear test. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, um, go see my other video, which will be linked down below, my last video, and, um, thanks for watching, subscribe, because I love you, and because, um, me, and, yes, and thank you, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, click the thumbs up, what, what, click the thumbs up button, because if you like this video, if you like my lipstick, because I am loving my lipstick, it's just so cool. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this. Bye.